I want to show you uh, some new features in Infinium 11.4 release, uh, including some enhancements to our 12 edge jitter measurements. So first, let's go look at uh, where our 12 edge is, is in the signal type where we say it's a PAM4 signal. We enable 12 edge jitter. One important thing here is, is, is here's some setups and, and some various things. We're making a, a 12 edge measurement on a, PRB, a 28 gigabyte PRBS 13Q. I have lowered the report count to 200. In other words, as soon as you get 200 transitions, give me a measurement. Now that's that's important. Um, you know, we are we are getting 12 edges per 8191 symbols. Uh, so here we've built up. We've looked at um, 876 patterns, and here you see the for J3U, uh, i.e. the you know the one in one in a thousand type probability. Uh, all of the all of the widths of the distributions. If we look at the histograms of in of of um, all of the transitions, right? All possible twelve edge or all possible of the twelve transitions in a PC in a PAM4 signal, we see this obviously, uh, and we get many more transitions, ten thousand, not twelve times as many than if we're looking at a single transition. Over here, we're looking at the composite of or the, the transitions from zero to one only, and it has 880 versus 10,000. So, you know, what are what are we doing here then? On on this, we're marking, well, what is what is uh, JRMS, right? What is the, the RMS value uh, of the composite of all 10,000 or of just the uh, just the zero to one transition? And, in, and then, you know, uh, what is the, you know, one in a thousand, one in 10,000? Uh, and notice that we've added uh, more, you know, the, the, the J3U, J4U was the traditional uh, uh, 12 edge measurements for systems with 1E minus 4 bit error rate. But as these PAM4 links move into systems with lower and lower bit error rates, uh, J5U, J6U, J8U even have become important. But J8U is, a, is, is the uh, width of the histogram such that one in a hundred million uh, Things are outside of that. So, you know, to wait for, we've got 1,000 transitions in this histogram. To wait for 100 million would take a long time. Uh, so, what we've added is extrapolation. All right. Extrapolation has been in, in standard jitter measurements for a long time. We've added it to the 12 edge jitter measurements. Uh, so, that, you know, in, in this case, we already have 15,000 edges, which is enough to do a decent G3U, J4U measurement but not a J6U or a, or a J8U measurement. Extrapolation really is necessary to make these types of measurements. So we've built a tail fit style dual direct model, uh, and we, we actually do it to each individual threshold first, uh, and, then, and, then, uh, and, and, then, and then build a composite. Um, it's in, and so uh, again, build a dual direct model, uh, which includes separating the, the random jitter, the tail of the jitter uh, from the deterministic jitter in the front so that you know you, we report the number of transitions so so we've made a legitimate with a thousand transitions here you know we've made a, a, a statistical uh j3u measurement uh, but but instead of just saying well these aren't done yet we've extrapolated out to give you a uh, extrapolated j4u j5u j6u j8u measurement so again uh, a dramatic uh, increase in in the speed at which we can make these uh these these newer uh, measurements that are made uh, that are are for for links shorter links uh, targeted with uh, tar that target a, a much lower bit error rate you know and it's it, it's also important and good to notice that um, that the further we get out in this tail the more likely this is going to be dominated by just random noise and so you know it's important to get enough measurements so that we've got a good model of the uh, of the deterministic jitter in the middle here, and then we're we're just extrapolating out on the uh, on the Gaussian looking tail. Uh, uh, one other hint I'll, I'll throw up here is that uh, it's always a good idea uh, once once you have the eye centered and the pattern set for your for your 12 edge jitter measurement, drop a, a a CDR rate measurement, a pattern like measurement, and even a simple error rate measurement to make sure that you have the right pattern going into the measurement. Otherwise, you can get erroneous results. And here we see that, yep, we have a 28 gigabyte signal. We have an 8190 long, long pattern, PRBS 13Q, and we are getting no errors. In other words, the signal is exactly matching the PRBS 13Q. Uh, 